it's loud. Oh, on my turn, no, turn down on my headphones. There we go. <laughs> hey guys, hey Cinnamon, hey Trondor. You can stay in your corner if you want. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Foaming mouth guy. <laughs> I love that guy. He's almost as good as Cabbage's man. <laughs> uh, yes, so I have played Divinity. Um, uh, I played Divinity Original Sin 1 uh, with uh, my friend Ben. And then I also uh, play... So Divinity Original Sin 1 is only a two-player co-op. Um, but uh, uh, Original Sin 2 is actually up to four players. Uh, and uh, we played through quite a lot of that one. Um, it was quite difficult to kind of get through certain things because each of us like we were like just so enamored by all the little details and stuff that you could get yourself into um so i it, it was a lot of fun uh however uh the battle system in divinity is one of my favorite of any uh strategy rpg um so if you're unfamiliar with how Divinity works, battle-wise, um, and I'm sure that there's other games that have done it as well, um, but this is kind of the first one that I've experienced that has done it so fluidly, I suppose. Um, but uh, they would do... Um, the, the way that the battles work is that... Uh, so it, it's kind of like your normal, kind of like top-down, kind of like... Well, it's not like 100% top-down. It's kind of like, I don't know bird's eye view uh sort of deal um but uh you enter a battle and then it starts being turn based um outside of battle it's all you can all each player can do whatever they want at any given time at the end of your conversation uh, it'll let the other person know and then they can come and join in the conversation and do all that stuff but then as soon as you enter a battle uh there's like a range in which battle like there, there's like a battle aura there's like a range in which you like will enter and then like if you're friend starts a battle like halfway across the town like you can still do whatever you want and then as soon as you enter like the designated like battle area um then you enter the turn order um but uh, it's really cool so like you know you have your classes and you have your your you know special uh abilities and you have your cooldowns um and stuff like that kind of like normal like top down uh, RPG sort of deal, like, you know, World of Warcraft even, but, uh, what's really cool about the system is that it's really, like, you have, you have your abilities, you have your basic attacks, but what's really cool is the environmental stuff that you can create, uh, so, hey, Zuloth, Zuloth, we, we, Z I actually played Divinity with Zuloth, we were talking about, uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, uh, Zuloth, uh, and, uh, so, like, let me see if I can pull up some images because it, it'll probably help me describe it a little bit better. Um, uh, <laughs> maybe not that one. Uh, ooh, here's a good one. Um, yeah, so, like... Like, do you see, you have, like, your normal basic things down at the bottom, like your abilities or whatever. And then you also have, like, various things that you can do with the environment. Where, uh, like, if there's, like, an oil sp spill on the ground or, like, um, something, you can set out a fire, right? And then, like, whoever is in the fire at that time takes damage. Um, after a few turns, it goes away. Or you can... Uh, you know, if someone, if an enemy lights, like, your area on fire, you can use a rain ability to wash it out. But it doesn't just, like, wash it out. 
after like the fire gets put out then smoke uh then there's smoke and so like your vision is impaired for a few turns if you're inside the smoke area or you can actually be hidden from uh your enemy like if you want to hide in the smoke area um but then you can also like combine things so like if you have an oil slick you can use like a poison ability on the oil slick so it becomes like this muck and then if you like set fire to it then it explodes instead of just smoldering it'll actually like explode um then you can like uh use like a curse uh aura on like a poison cloud and it, and it becomes like like super demonic cloud dust that like causes berserk on your enemies or something like that like it's it's like the amount of combinations that you can do like all in one single battle is nuts because like eventually you start getting abilities where you can just like lay down environmental stuff um instead of so instead of like having to target like a barrel nearby like you would just throw a rock and then it becomes an oil spill um and then you can start creating all this like it's it's just like when you get all the environment stuff like thrown in like it, the battles just become so chaotic <laughs> but it's awesome um because like you have that on top of your normal abilities yeah i'm excited to see what Baldur's gate 3 does um because i played uh i played Baldur's gate uh two i think uh for a little bit didn't didn't finish it all the way but also that's pre-alpha apparently um <laughs> Yeah, here's here's some more like yeah here's a good picture of like all the different types of things that you can throw down so like you have an oil slick then you have like a magma pool there's fire there's like a, a death cloud but also ice and then there's like a like a goopy sticky thing uh, then you have blood that like necromancers can like sit in and then like they get uh, you know buffs and then there's ice and then like if you stay in it for too long, you get frozen, but then if you set fire to the ice or the fire ability, it turns it into water, and then you can uh, use an electrical bolt on the water to electrocute people to stun them for a turn. Like, <laughs> like everything just kind of, like, st stacks. <laughs> uh, but this is Divinity 1, I think. This is Divinity Original Sin 1. So there's, there's even more in... Uh, or is this? Yeah, I think this is one. There's even more in uh, Divinity uh, Two. Uh, <laughs> okay, have you? All right, Shuriken's here. We can start. No more dilly dallying around, right? No more dilly dallying. I gotta bring my beautiful face back, huh? 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 I guess you guys are tired of looking at a. What's new? Saints Row the Third. We're not playing that today. All right, we'll go ahead and cut that music. Ah, so how's everybody doing today? We got, we started talking about video games just like we usually do. Getting off topic already. Uber Eats is always sending me stuff around lunchtime. And I'm already eating. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yep, Baldur's Gate is being made by uh, Larian. Larian is fantastic. Um, I mean, they've done a lot. Of, I think, as far as I'm aware, they've done all the Divinity games. But, like, Larian's Kickstarter for Divinity Original Sin 1 was, like, the biggest success ever. Oh, by the way, uh, one of the coolest things in Divinity Original Sin 2 is that uh, there is, like, a quest maker so like it's it's i think it's free dlc or it's in the game or something i've never i haven't played around with it but basically like you can go through the main story all on your own right do all the side quests and junk but if you wanted to you could totally get your friends together and you can make your own quests like you can you can yeah dm mode exactly it's it, you basically can have like a campaign that you can write yourself, 
you can place all the enemies down like you can set the environment and stuff like it's basically like, like a build your own game like in it like basically it's mario maker but for divinity <laughs> uh but i i haven't taken a look at it uh i've read a lot of good things about it but one thing is that it's so robust that there is actually like a learning curve to be able to like put it together like you have to like spend some you got to spend some time like playing with it and learning all the ins all the all the like ins and outs of how to actually set it up properly without just creating chaos for all the people that come in <laughs> Yeah, uh, they're bringing over a lot of stuff. Uh, Zulu, that's right. They're bringing over a lot of stuff from Divinity into Baldur's Gate 3. So, maybe we'll... Maybe that's a thing that we could all just, like... Maybe we can all play together on the stream. Yeah? <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Lord Swaggingtons! <laughs> Oh man, Lord Swaggington. Hey, Stinker. Hey, you want to see Puppy on stream? Uh, oh, come here. Ah, come here. Puppy on stream. Alright. That's it. We're done. That was all. All the stream. Stream has reached peak, peak uh, excellence. <laughs> Alright, so this, this little one right here. I know all of you guys know him, know her, uh, but uh, this is Aria, puppy on stream. Um, she likes to sit behind my chair, and she has furry, a furry, uh, fluffy tail, and um, she has not learned her lesson about sitting behind my chair and getting it stuck in the wheels, getting her tail hair stuck in the wheels, and so she whines and cries until I'm able to pull it out or until it just pulls out of her skin. <laughs> And she has not learned. She has not learned that if she lays behind my chair, there is potential that she's going to get her hair stuck in the wheels when I roll backwards. Because I'm not paying attention, especially if I got to do it multiple times. And then she, I, I move her over, and then she moves back and falls asleep. What do you got? You got a stick in your fur? All right. You going to play some Final Fantasy? All right. Okay. Beep, pop, boop, boop. Beep, pop, boop, pop, pop. All right. Anyway, that's a stinky pie. Bye. You're going to say bye? <laughs> She's like, put me down, please. I didn't ask for this. I need to blur my face. I need That's what she wants. All right, everybody. So let's get started with the lunchtime Let's Play stream. Let me, it's almost 20 minutes in. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Paul. Uh, I am an artist from Houston, Texas. Uh, I am an artist, but I'm also a gamer. And welcome to the lunchtime Let's Play uh, Twitch stream. Today we are playing... Some sort of Final Fantasy. I think this one is number nine, if I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, and we are actually headed... We just... If you remember from last time, we finished uh, getting out of Evil Forest. Uh, Blank is dead. Um, <laughs> our friend Blank is dead from Tantalus. Uh, he got petrified in the Evil Forest. We can't go back to the Evil Forest because we killed the plant brain. We killed the mother brain of the of the plant, uh, of the plant forest of the trees, <laughs> and uh, we need to move on. So we are we got a tip from uh, the Moogle saying that uh, we should check out the ice cabin. So uh, yeah, it was a clutch pass with that scroll. Uh, by the way, that wasn't really like a very important scroll. Um, I don't know what the deal was with these characters and the fact that they didn't know where they might be. Um, but, uh, apparently they've never been below the mist, if I remember correctly. So that is one reason. Oh, so there's, we'll get to it at some point, but basically, uh, a little bit of backstory about this whole world, or at least this area of the world. Um, the entire, like, lower portion of the continent is covered in a layer of mist, that produces monsters and makes people kind of go a little loopy and stuff like that. Um, and so, I, if I remember correctly, most of the population stays above the mist. 
and that because otherwise they'd be fighting monsters all the time. Um, the mist, I don't think, is across the entire continent, um, but it is across most of it. So I guess it was important, but uh, you know, I just kind of—it's like he makes it seem like the scroll is like this big important thing, but it's just a map. It's just a map. It's like, why didn't you just, like, point it? Why didn't you just, like, I said, like, a discussion about, like, hey, when you get out of the forest, go this way. Yeah, way I mean, you don't have to make this big old stink about this scroll. Uh, <laughs> and it's just a map. That's all it is. You have a freaking Moogle. Watch, you have a freaking Moogle that comes out of nowhere. Why can't you just ask him where the, about where the, where the things are? <laughs> also, he gets super mad. <laughs> if you don't, uh, if you keep calling him. So anyway, uh, we are on to the Ice Cavern. This must be the cavern. The, yeah, see? Ice Cavern. Yeah, exactly. Good job, Zane. Oh, I wonder what it's, the name of it is going to be. Um, what's up, Vivi? Have you ever heard of the Ice Cavern? Sure. Is this the place? You, this place, it's cold and has ice in it. Yes. I think so. It's supposed to be near Evil Forest. Also, come on, Vivi knows. Like, why did you even need the map? Vivi just knows. Come on. I've heard of it. It's supposed to be a beautiful place covered in ice. My grandpa told me about this place. He said the cave cavern takes travelers to the top of the mist. Bravo! Master Vivi's grandfather must be quite a scholar. We must thank him upon escaping the mist. My grandpa used to teach me lots of things, but he passed away. Oh. F forgive my indiscretion. Don't worry about it. Well, why don't we go inside? Oh, I wonder what it's going to be called. Oh, it's Ice Cavern. <laughs> <laughs> the water temple on the randomizer is going to be literal hell. Don't, man. You, you don't have enough faith in me, man. You just don't. <laughs> Knowledge and lore of this land has been handed down through the clan butt balls <laughs> for generations. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful place. Seeing that treasure chest is beautiful. Seeing the actual cavern is so much better than reading about it. Oh, how pretty. I wonder what kind of flower this is. Princess, please don't touch anything. Can we get moving? I'm freezing here. Ooh. Get this treasure chest here. I got a tent. You have faith in me, Chagador? <laughs> you also have faith that the randomizer is as statistic as possible. Yep. So here's a here's a little like trick for you for you guys. Pro gamer move on on for me from me to you. See those little, like, poofs? See those little, like, ice farts coming out from the left and right? Don't walk into them uh, when they're farting, because then you have to fight a bad guy. Hey, Inktat! How are you doing? I'm drinking day-old coffee. It's still okay, I suppose. A lot of spit in the back. Bana, 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 bana. All right, what are we going to battle in the ice cavern? Could it be an ice monster, perhaps? Or a little little boy? Looks like a little boy. A little creepy boy. <gasps> Sleeping juice? Wow. Uh, that did a lot of damage. Uh, I thought it was supposed to just put me to sleep, but I guess not. Uh, 
So I, uh, Shuriken, you had mentioned uh, that there is actually like a high res background mod, and um, I want to do it. I kind of just forgot. <laughs> I want to mod it in. I just kind of forgot <laughs> for today. Uh, oh no. Uh, Garnet, what the heck? Why you do this? Also, Zidane, you were supposed to protect girls. You, you, you dingus? He's supposed to stand in <laughs> What the heck, Dumbo? Guess you don't really like Garnet all that much anyway. <laughs> Vivi is cute. Vivi's great. Vivi's like the best boy. Uh, you gonna you gonna stop farting? Thank you. Huh? What's this? What a strange wall. There's gotta be something behind it. Hey, Vivi. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Can you break this wall down with your magic? I... I'm coming. <laughs> He's just so obedient. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the, if the ice is... is can be melted with what fire. There might be other walls like this. I'm counting on you, Vivi. Sure. I'm counting on you, little boy. Run away for the fart! Haha. -ha. Uh, oh, that was going to get into a battle. Vivi! Dude, Vivi carries this entire group. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> ah, well, Garnet. Sorry, Garnet. Ah, uh, let's see. I guess... We'll get a Phoenix Town in a second. No, not sleeping juice. You got sort of. You don't have anything sort of. Well, see, then you just <laughs> see exactly. You think these little baby imp boys are gonna have Phoenix Downs. They probably will. Ready for pro gamer move number two? Yeah. And then you just get past the fart. <laughs> Humble, shy, Vivi's just destroying everything. Exactly. <laughs> the cold, jaundiced eyes of death. So what's everybody having for lunch today? Huh? I already had my lunch. Uh, I had uh, two... Very healthy peanut butter bars. Very healthy peanut butter bars. You guys ever make a flan that looks like this? Fine, let's see if there's anything in here. No, not Blizzard. Instant ramen, way healthier. <laughs> and spaghetti, sandwich and chips. Whoa, chili, quesadilla, and a fried egg. Wow. By the end of the cave, Vivi will be seven levels higher. Well, jokes on Vivi. Uh, experience points are uh, divided evenly. <laughs> Take that, Vivi. Poor Garnet. Hey, we got a Phoenix down. Let's get guarded some levels. Hopefully she won't die. Eee. <laughs> she could have just sit there and passed out. I mean, she's kind of useless <laughs> at the moment, except for curing. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> I 
at this rate, it's going to be the one of us not to have coronary anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, with the... Yeah, because Zulat actually, like, eats well. <laughs> well, Angtat does, too. <laughs> hmm. What is this strange cone? Whoa! <laughs> like on Garda. Whoa! Just one single sweet potato. <laughs> it was a lot. I like that defense, Zulat. It was a, it was a big sweet potato. <gasps> oh, no! They snuck up behind us. It's a back attack. Swear to God, if you use Sleep Potion on Garnet again. Oh, just on Vivi. That's okay. Oh my God! See? All cured. All happy. She does so much... Cure damage. <laughs> Cure damage. You know what I meant. Oh my god, he's already asleep. Leave him alone. Poor little boy. Also, if you noticed... <laughs> the cure damage. Uh, if you noticed... Uh, Zidane and Steiner are doing significantly less damage because they are in the back of the party. So, oh my... Garnet! You dingus! You just had to wait for Vivi! I mean, sleep. If <laughs> he comes to the rescue again, poor Garnet. She's never gonna be able to level up. <laughs> um, so sleeping just puts you to sleep. Uh, I don't know why it's doing so much damage to to Garnet. I think it's just because she's still a level one. Um, let's get some more damage from Mage Masher here. Oh, you know why? Because we don't have any armor on her. That would help. <laughs> she had no defense. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> well, now that she has a hat on and she s s cut off some person's wrist and duct taped it to her, now she'll be fine. Uh, I'll use a Phoenix Pinion next time we're in battle. How's everybody else's life? Good for now. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll, he'll, he'll do just fine. Come on, Fart Cloud. Huh? What's this? Vivi, do all the work for us again. Got an elixir. <laughs> Life is okay. <laughs> What's in here? Phoenix Death. Fine. Guess we can try to level her up at least one. She'll only be on level 2 for the rest of her life. Um, oh, we just dodged that fart! Oh. <laughs> Whatever happened to the rat kid that was with Vivi? Uh, he'll come back. You'll see him. It'll be a, it'll be a little while, but uh, we'll get we'll 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 find him again. We'll find Rat Kid. Ooh, a leather wrist. Maybe we'll put that on Garnet so that she doesn't die. Beast Killer and Blizzard. Ooh, no. Vivi's getting it because he needs to learn Blizzard. 
Spoilers? Oh, that's not even spoilers. I didn't even tell you anything. Did you see that pro gamer? Gra gamer. Did you see that pro? Ga Did you see that pro gamer strat of how I went around the fart cloud? That's how you know I'm a real gamer. It's not a spoiler. It's as much as a spoiler is saying Double Door killed Snape. <laughs> An amateur gamer or a part time gamer. <laughs> I like the idea of a part time gamer. <laughs> Contract gamer. Work for hire gamer. Yeah, Garnet got the level two. Yeah, didn't you know? <laughs> this cake does have a lot of gas. I don't know why it's like so gassy. Ooh, what's this area? What? Huh? What's this? Wow. Hot, hot, hot. You. Bastards! Oh, I can move again. Thanks, Koopo. Do you like how he insulted us? <laughs> I hate you! Hey, bro. What are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. I'm going to give another interesting lecture today. Are you? Gosh, bro. You sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. You'll never know the secrets. Oh, hey, you gotta deliver a letter to Gumo for me, Koopo. Sure. Thanks, Koopo. Oh, let's see. We have three tents. Let's tent. Let's rest. <laughs> Why were they randomly in Louisiana? <laughs> oh, they'll be a real Louisiana boy. Uh, that you'll you'll see you'll see. There's a there's a for real Louisiana boy. So, can we go over how many slots I have? Are all the Final Fantasy games set in the same universe? Nope! Uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, unless there's, like, direct sequels, um, all the fan Final Fantasy games are all their separate uh, universes. Except Dissidia, when they all converged. You know. Obviously. There are rumors that Final Fantasy VII and uh, Final Fantasy X are in the same universe. That, that's actually new. I, I have I didn't know that. I'll have to look that up. I'm very curious to see what the what they throw in for theories for that. Um, there is one. So there is one like uh, major like thread, I suppose, between all of the Final Fantasies at least as far as I'm aware, is that there is always a crystal. And the crystal is, like, uh, the, like, source of existence, basically. Or at least all life or something. <clears throat> That's the only thing that I remember. But I could be wrong on that. I don't know if, like, everyone hits on that point. Uh uh, and a lot of times I don't even think it's mentioned. Uh, but yeah, almost everything is just separate from each other. I mean, there's, a, there's definitely like a lot of callbacks, like especially like in this game. Like a lot of the characters resemble other characters from previous games um, and stuff. So yeah, exactly. As Shuriken has said, like this one has a lot of throwbacks, a lot of references and stuff, but everything is... Um, uh, everything's different. Like it doesn't... They don't ever converge. They don't ever like meet each other unless you're playing kingdom hearts obviously and then because that's the epitome of final fantasy right final fantasy and disney epitome <laughs> vivi hurry up or you'll be left behind i 
I'm coming. Oh no. <laughs> and Vivi's dead. Master Vivi, are you okay? <laughs> Yo, Rusty. You're not alright, are you? What happened to you guys? Hey, Rusty, move it or lose it. Get up! It's no use. Oh no! Garnet! Not you too. Garnet? She's out cold. Shoot. I'm falling asleep. Oh, well, they're dead. Game's over. <laughs> it is a whole lot of pressure. It's like, man, I just... I'm beating all these characters and giving you experience points. Just give me... Give me a break, guys. <laughs> yeah, I like how he, like, tumbled over. <laughs> like, Steiner just fell. Vivi, like, tumbled over like a feather. <laughs> they are standing in the biggest fart. <laughs> What's that sound? came from over there from that big fart it's somebody there hold up hold up peeps This will not end well. Why did you fall asleep? You should be dead by now. Are you the one causing this blizzard? Are you the one creating all these farts? Hey, hey, hey. That's right. Dingle dangle. <laughs> uh oh. It's Boss battle time, baby! Ice giant sea lion, come before me! Oh no! Go, sea lion! Wing Blizzard Oh jeez, how much damage oh that's gonna do that much go. <laughs> Black Waltz number one, the flatulence <laughs> Yeah, I mean I feel like Sakodin is I mean, like, I know there's a lot of, um, like, character jobs and stuff with Sakodin and things like that, but I feel like Sakodin is one of the closest ones to the Final Fantasy kind of general uh, structure, you know? Zelda, obviously, not so much. Because <laughs> Zelda is an action RPG. Sea lion, kill him for me. See, it's really good that we had Vivi carry us because uh, we got the, the Mage Masher. And uh, that helped us kill the actual Mage Man. We mashed that mage. <laughs> Almost like this weapon was designed for it. 
What was uh, what was the code for on? Was that on Xbox? All right, so are you gonna do anything? Because yes, there we go. Cool, baby. Guess what? We're in trance, and we're gonna do a crazy amount of damage. Every so, this is really cool. So every new weapon that uh, you trance on Zidane with, um, he gets a new. Uh, he gets a new dying move. Um, also, it does a crap ton of damage. Oh no! <laughs> Tsunami! Unfortunately, I'm going to need a potion. I'm going to waste one of my trance moves for a potion. I have one more left. <laughs> Toonami! <laughs> Coming up next, seven hours of King of the Hill. And... Oh boy, he did. <laughs> See, look at how strong Zidane is. Look at that boy. <laughs> And hours and hours of Indunasha. <laughs> Pretty much gone, gone say it. I mean, he is a monkey after all. Cool, we got a Phoenix down to be able to heal uh, Garnet. You defeated number one, but number two and number three will reclaim the princess. Who, who's there? Oh, whatever. I've got to go back and check on them. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Dramatic reveal! Yep, uh, build up transmitter when you take damage. So, uh, I even think it works when you're defending. Um, so, like, the reason why I was waiting, because I was, because even if you're entering, uh, even if you entered the menu for fighting, the enemy can still attack you. So, like, you can wait, um, in order to even receive damage. So, uh, that's why I didn't attack, because, like, he still had his attack, uh, bar to fill up. Um, and then as soon as... Because what would have happened probably is that I would have gone second anyway. And so uh, he would have attacked me. I would have wasted my trance move on a regular attack, which would have done more damage, yes. But I would have liked to have done 400 points of damage instead of 100 points of damage. Zidane! Hey there. Is everybody okay? You! What just happened? It was no big deal. You're hiding something. Hey, nothing happened. You heard me. You didn't touch the princess, did you? Just what are you accusing me of? Steiner, he said nothing happened. Why are you being so rude? My apologies, princess. Well, I'm glad everyone is safe. Shall we move on? Zidane, is something bothering you? No, it's nothing. Yeah, let me just not tell you about this giant thing that I fought. <laughs> Steiner should just ski out of here. <laughs> I mean, Zidane has two swords. He could probably just go, wee! Alright, well, that looks like daylight. It's still kind of farty up here, but maybe that's just the the uh, 
lingering farts of the melting ice. We made it through the mist. Vivi was so happy. Did you see Vivi jumping up? He put those jump rope skills to work, man. Jumping up and down. <laughs> he was so happy. <laughs> it's Bibby and Jimmy. <laughs> now I'm going to just start calling him Bibby and Jimmy. <laughs> You're talking about the jesters, right, Trogdor? <laughs> we made it through the mist. Oh, the sun feels great. Look, there's a village. Look at those pixels. I think it might be a village. I think I've been there before. It sounds like you've been everywhere today. The only other worlds that I've visited are in books. You may have been to that village. Let's go visit. Wait, hold it. You're a princess. You can't just go rushing in there. People are looking for you. You need a new identity. Insolent fool! The princess need not sneak around. Besides, we're heading back to the castle. You leave her alone. And you will address her as princess from now on, you silly peasant. Damn it, Rusty. Why don't you just shut up? Who do you think you are? I don't take orders from a stuck-up jerk like you. You guys. Stop it, you two. Steiner, I do not intend to return to the castle. And I do see, see Zidane's point. I need a new name. Zidane, what is this called? That? That's a dagger, you dumb butt. <laughs> so you've never seen a dagger before in this medieval world? All knives of that length are called daggers. God, I can't believe you're so stupid. <laughs> Short swords are a bit bigger. The big sword you hold with both hands, it's called a broadsword. And Oh, okay, I understand now. <laughs> he was so happy to explain. <laughs> So this is called a dagger. Princess, it's a weapon. Please be careful. I've decided. From now on, my name is... Still Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> I will be called Princess Garnet from now on. What do you think, Sadine? <laughs> Is that okay with you? Great, Garnet. Now let's work on your speech. Try to sound more casual, like me. <laughs> I shall try. No, no, no. Vivi say... <laughs> yeah, they'll never suspect it. <laughs> so, I will say one thing. So, like, even on my very first playthrough of this game, uh, I never liked the idea of calling her Dagger. Um, uh, I think, like, officially, like, like in, in, like, official things, they referred to her as both Garnet and Dagger. Um, and, uh, like... I've heard people that just refer to her as, as Dagger and stuff like that. Um, I just never, I never liked it. I thought it was kind of lame. <laughs> Even when I was playing this when I was 13. Um, also, I really like the name Garnet. I think it's a pretty sounding name. Uh, and it fits her well, too. Um, does it make more sense in Japanese? Actually, it probably does. Um, that's actually a good question. I'm going to utilize my phone to look up. Uh, in Japan... What is Garnet called in Final Fantasy IX? Yeah, there's like a there's a game facts thread. Does anyone else think that Dagger is a horrible name? <laughs> Apparently some guy just called her woman. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so someone by the name of Raven Shinobi, you know, the 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 the, the famed scholar Raven Shinobi posted seven years ago. Um, apparently she is also actually she is also called Dagger in the Japanese version or Daga, D A G A A, uh, as it's written in katakana. Uh, my guess is that while it sounds stupid to many English speakers, it might have sounded exotic and cool to Sakaguchi when he came up with the name. Which is probably right. Uh... <laughs> okay, then there's like a gigantic paragraph that I'm not going to read at all. Yeah, I don't know. My my opinion was I just it was like how like apparent you know <laughs> What do you guys say? <laughs> well she's either a rock or a knife, so <laughs> pretty much, right? <laughs> I know. I'll call myself Bimmy. <laughs> Yeah, can you get a load of Steiner right now? Just get a load. <laughs> oh my god, get a load of Steiner, man. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, Steiner. Just kidding. The correct name is to call our characters Pikachu. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll move on. Anyway, that was all. I just always like call her Garden. I thought it sounded pretty, and I thought it still fit her. Um, also, we'll find out a little later uh, why it kind of makes a little sense. Um, the Keeper Garnet. Uh, it, it, in my humble opinion. So the entire basis of her name is whatever Zidane dropped uh, and she picked up. It could have been much worse. That is true. <laughs> like, he could have just... <laughs> Master Blaster. <laughs> he could have, like, just, like, dropped, like, I don't know, like, a piece of lint out of his uh, pocket. And she'd be like, hmm, my name is Lint. <laughs> <laughs> or Zidane could have just fallen off the cliff after Steiner pushed him. Found she found walked down and found him dead at the bottom of the cliff, and she would have just been like, "Hmm, you're right. I'll call myself <laughs> Crushed Skull." <laughs> Lint actually works better than Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> what would Bibby say? Just say, "Alrighty." Alrighty. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it. Did you also see how Vivi was kind of like weirded out by the fact that she said alrighty? <laughs> I'll call myself Tifa. <laughs> I'll call myself Cloud. <laughs> I'll call myself Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's her full name. The cute butt of Alexandria. Garnet Till Alexandros. <laughs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> oh, my coffee smells delicious. Give me that boat. Is that all you have to say? <laughs> Colonel, I'm trying to sneak past the guards, but it's out of my butt cheeks. I'm so dummy thick. Keeps alerting the guards. I don't remember what's up here. What is that? What is that weird monstrosity? <laughs> Hey, this is the PG rated R, PGR stream, okay? Rated X. You're not allowed to say those things.
Gee whiz, a windmill. Vivi, the end is this way. Oh, do we have to? But I want to go see the windmill. I know, but let's get some rest first. We also need to decide what to do next. <laughs> he said it was ready to actually hurt him. <laughs> did you see that? I sure did. The village of Dolly. Sleeping on the job. <laughs> Hey, I know she's cute, but it's rude, to, rude of you to stare. No, I wasn't looking at the young lady. I was just... Uh, the room is all right over there. Make your shelves at home. Um, Zidane, where will I be staying? In the same room. Where else? But, Zidane, I mustn't. I understand how you feel, but these country inns don't have private rooms. <laughs> Cider's so mad. Get inside, everyone. <laughs> I should probably make some dong emotes. Don't hold me to that, please. Tell me one thing before we go to sleep. Why did you want to leave the castle, darn it? If the theater ship hadn't crashed... It would have arrived at the neighboring Regency of Lindblom. You were going to leave Alexandria? I see. If you hadn't been caught, you would have reached Lindblom by now. But now, we'll have to cross Southgate on foot. Border crossing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is that emoticon? <laughs> that. Angtat. That better not be a burning cross. <laughs> Unless it's sausages, then it's okay. <laughs> Maybe burning sausages? Eh? <laughs> Angtat. You better not <laughs> pepperonis. <laughs> it kind of looks like sausages. Oh, you ever crisscross your sausages? Mmm, that's the way to go. <laughs> Zidane, please listen. There is a reason I must leave this kingdom. I cannot tell you why, but. Please. I understand. I'll get you to Limblum somehow. I've heard enough. Princess, you cannot trust the words of a thief. He may expose you to even more danger like he did in Evil Forest. I beg you, Princess, please return to the castle with me. I read that wrong, but that's okay. Look, I know I screwed up in Evil Forest. Yeah, he didn't really, honestly. But there's no doubt in my mind now. I'll protect Garnet with my life. Don't be ridiculous. It is I who protect the princess. Now and forever. Then tell me. How do you intend to take her back to the castle? I will think of a way. That's how Vivi snores. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't... I, I, there's some people that I watch, Angtat, that the viewers will... Uh, uh, like, they'll post stuff. And there's also ones that... Like, you may have seen some of it, uh, Shuriken. Um, I don't... I, I, I think it's an inside joke about the people who type out the name of the emoticon. Is that is that like a... 
I mean, it's probably just like a meme sort of thing, but I don't know necessarily what they're referring to a lot of times because I don't know the names of the emoticons. Um, a lot of times they're just Twitch default emoticons for laugh out loud and stuff. Um, but I just don't know. I don't know them. So sometimes I, I don't get the joke. <laughs> um, I think there was one guy on that came by the uh, drawing stream one day and like used a written out emoticon name and I read it and then I felt stupid because I knew that it was an emoticon afterwards. It's a whole thing. I know that like when you, it's like, um, like, you know, surprise.png or something like that. You know what I mean? I know that, or like, you know, like yelling.avi. <laughs> Kill all humans. <laughs> Master Vivi. He was tired. He carried our team. But you had to go on a tirade. What? Let's go to sleep. But is that Monka S? Like, I see a lot of Monka S, and I don't know. Oh, that's Kappa. That's what that is. Okay, now I understand. Thank you. Thank you for explaining. I am third. Who's singing? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure, Shuriken, that that means that you're a, a white supremacist Nazi man who hates everyone. That's the real one for that one. I know that. I learned it from I learned it from CNN. <laughs> I learned it from Rush Limbaugh as well, because he was the one. He that looks like Rush Limbaugh to be honest. I learned it. <laughs> I've never heard a song like that before. Was that Garnet singing? Oh, everyone's up already. I wonder where they went. Which one? Vivi Confused or Garnet Tries? It is it is Twitch chat interacting. Alright, Vivi got first vote Vivi. First come, first serve. <laughs> My boy! <laughs> huh? Snot nose Gudo. Ouch, what's going on? Hey, you're... Are they avoiding me? Is Jaundice contagious? <laughs> I know, right? They keep pat... It's like, uh... It's like the equivalent to, uh... Uh... uh booby slaps from Animal Crossing. <laughs> received an antidote is that how you guys read books <laughs> dolly in library for your reading pleasure how to save one million gil earn money the easy way making crazy money volume two these books suck <laughs> Hey, this must be Color Fortunes. It was a big fad in Limblum a few years back. Color Fortunes? 10 gil for divination? Why not? 10 gil, huh? Good omen. A good day filled with many of life's simple pleasures. Yeah. I don't know what that symbol is supposed to mean. <laughs> a nice breeze will greet you as you step out. You will make new friends and replace a lost item with a new one. Be yourself and let good fortune come to you. Your lucky color for today is blue. Want to buy a gem in your lucky color? We have all the colors. <laughs> That's how I make that sound. <laughs> Come visit our store in Lindblom's Theater District. We're located near the air cab terminal. Look for a, the big clock. Have I heard of this store before? Yeah, it is kind of like a potato. Yeah, there you go, Trogdor. <laughs> Wait, some Twitch emote lore for you guys? Oh, I, I think I have links. Uh, um, I think I have links disabled. Oops. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's sleeping too. Another ATI! Garnet tries. Doritos! Yeah, that's my favorite. I wonder. I wonder if the castle is okay. That was quite a ruckus. My mom destroyed half the city. Mother went too far. She didn't have to fire at the ship, even if she did it to rescue me. I wonder how many people got hurt, or died, or mutilated, or blown to smithereens. I hope the damage wasn't too severe. Some people could have died, like an evil forest. You're in my way, kiddo. Kiddo? Oh, my apologies. I mean, I'm sorry. Kids these days. She's just like, she's just like why is a stranger in my garden? <laughs> I mean, all right. Hey, that works. <laughs> what are you doing? Can't you see what I'm doing? I'm killing the bugs on the crops. You're killing the bugs? Are you stupid, girl? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Bugs are just like monsters. They destroy our crops if you leave them be. Crops? <laughs> she really doesn't know anything, does she? There's one. Oh, an Oglop. Oglops eat vegetables? You're a strange one. Most girls hate Oglops. Is that so? It's just that I haven't seen too many of them. Wait. Sedane told me to try and blend in. Maybe I should act like I don't like Oglops. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Great. Thanks, Garnet, for whatever the heck that was. She is, a, yeah, she is definitely more naive. Oh, it's Gumo! What do you want to do? Give Gumo a letter? A letter from Mois? Hmm. I don't like Mois, but I'll read it anyway, Kupo. Jesus. <laughs> from Mois to Gumo. Yo! Man, I totally got iced up by some dude with wings on his back. Stillskin passed me by without doing anything. Is he rude or what? Of course, I couldn't say nothing because I was trapped inside the ice. He always sounds so gruff. But I'm glad to hear Stillskin is traveling. I can't wait to hear from him, Kupo. <laughs> man, Gumo. Gumo doesn't mess around, man. <laughs> Gumo. Gumo only looks out for Gumo. Yeah, good job, Garnet. Way to be really cringy and, and stupid, also. <laughs> Dolly Inn's Breakfast Service. A delicious breakfast for 20 gil. Cold water, fresh from the well. Fresh scrambled eggs, vegetables, fresh from the farm. This is a sample menu. Iced up. So we got some... Hey, yo. If she's jerking, you're, you're in on the, on, the, on the slang, man. Cat's eye. Meow. That is a scary cat. Oh, it's you. What should I do? I don't want to give in to my brother, but everyone else is making money except me. Hey, wasn't that customer traveling with... I won't have to give in if I tell him about them. Uh-oh. What's in here? What we got in here? Oh, hello, cutie. Welcome. Oh, maybe we can uh, give a little bit of that. A little bit of... Get a little bit... Oh, I don't want 11 of those. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. <laughs> I'd recognize those jaundice eyes anywhere. <laughs> the funny thing is that cat has jaundice eyes too. What the heck? Eh. 
add any more abilities before I forget? Bright Eyes! Bright Eyes is great. It prevents you from being blinded. And we'll add status as well. Add status. So certain uh, certain equipment uh, allows you to add status effects. Um, such as Mage Master. So there's a chance. So we're, if, you, if, if the weapon that you're wielding has an add status, uh, like it does with silence, uh, if you have the add status ability checked, um, there is a chance that when you do a physical damage, it will add... Uh, oops. There's a chance that when you do physical damage with that weapon, it'll add that status to it. Isn't that nifty, guys? <laughs> Isn't that so cool? This wheel looks big enough for an airship engine. Why would they need something like this on a farm? I think I can see inside. Should we look inside? No one's back yet. Well, you just left, Zidane. Obviously. <laughs> Dumbo. Oh, hey, there's Vivi. Hey, Vivi, what's up? Sedane. Uh, nothing. I was just thinking. Ah, oh, I see. You met a girl. No, no. Nothing like that. What? Don't tell me you don't like girls. I never really thought about stuff like that. I'm always thinking about girls. Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah... <laughs> I'm popular with all the ladies in Limbo. Come to me if you have any girl trouble, okay? This, sure. Thanks. Yes, Vivi is a little boy. Okay, then. We need to decide what to do. I'm going to look for Garnet and Rusty. Would you mind heading back to the inn? <laughs> you see this thing? It ain't a tail. <laughs> or if it is, you better believe the things that I can do with it. <laughs> that's rated. That's rated R, Trogdor. Not allowed. It's only rated X. <laughs> sure, I'll head back. So, what were you staring at? Nothing. But I keep hearing sounds like... Quay. That's the sound Chocobo's making. I'll see you back at the U. Okay. What are Chocobos? Chocobo? Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> huh? Forget Steiner. I wonder where Garnet is. Garnet tries harder. <laughs> Stranger danger! <laughs> it's allowed. Don't listen to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know the drill. <laughs> I must speak with this girl and learn how common folk speak. Yeah, a little, uh... Little classes there, Garnet. Uh, welcome. Um, yes, can we talk for a bit? Talk? What should I say? Um. Yeah, cha! Can't you see I'm with a customer? But I just heard something awesome. Awesome? Can't you see I'm working? Um, please. I mean, don't mind me. Here's a chance to listen in on some conversation. Thanks, lady. I was gonna say. Die hard too, Garnet tries harder. <laughs> Garnet. What's she looking at? I love how their heads <laughs> sync up. <laughs> Zidane! You got a 
fever or something? Your face is all red. It, it's nothing. I'm fine. You're acting strange. What? I get it. You changed the way you talk. You're doing great. Thanks! I did fine in the play, didn't I? Oh yeah, I thought... Definitely day drunk. 100%. I mean, we already knew that the everything that was happening in Evil's Forest was just a hallucination from... Uh, what was she on? <laughs> Mushrooms? <laughs> uh, Ruby is... Uh, oh, Cody. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ruby is the uh, theater girl. Uh, she's the one that was actually supposed to play the part uh, of uh, of uh, the, the the play princess or whatever the heck it was. Yeah, she's the one that got left behind. Exactly. Oh yeah, I thought you were Ruby. I'm a big fan of Lord Avon's plays. I have, I, I mean, I've seen them all. I Want to Be Your Canary is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah? Is Ruby the young lady with the strange accent? Uh, yeah. Should I talk more like her? What? No, no. She's a... She's really finicky about her speech. She's always laughs at us whenever we try to mimic her. So you should just be yourself, darn it. I understand. Alrighty. <laughs> Tee hee. Aww. We need to decide what to do from here. Will you go back to the inn? <laughs> she said the thing! <laughs> she said the thing! <laughs> Say the line, Bart! <laughs> Say the line! <laughs> what about you? I'll head back soon. Alrighty. Say the line again, Bart! I'll catch you later. Good. You sound just like a regular village girl. Crossing the border might not be so tough after all. Thanks, I had fun. And she screws it all up by taking a bow. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the bow. <laughs> Alrighty. Catch you later. Curtsy. <laughs> oh, the look on his face. He sent someone to pick it up right away. All I need to do is keep quiet until the guests leave. Gotta pretend I'm asleep. <laughs> Cat's eye too. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> Master of door-to-door -door catalog sales for plays. Exactly. <laughs> Useful information. Think before equipping your new weapon and armor. Check to see blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. I already got all this stuff from you. <laughs> yeah, pretend. Yeah, pretty much. He's just he actually was just asleep. I'll just let Steiner be and go back to the inn. I mean should I sh maybe Who are you? I don't think we need a guard. Oh, forget what I just said. Uh, should I? <laughs> I can't get near the treasure box while the min mills. Min, my, the min, min, min. Those were words. You're all right, Cinnamon. Final Fantasy one, Final Fantasy ends look like these look so good. I'm the mayor of this village. Who are you? I'm busy. Please leave. I like how Zidane didn't even answer. Did 
Received Aries. I also, I would also love to sit in a little like tent, the little dingle dangle. Uh... These kids need to stop bothering me, please. Uh, the little Moogle tent with the little dingle dangle, the little pom pom. It's it's so comfy looking. Menu: pickles, eight gill, vegetable stir fry, out of stock, P pumpkin salad, out of stock. Dried potatoes, four gill. Kebabs, ten gill. Limblum pickles, eight gill. Cash only. We sell medicine. <laughs> Please get out of my rumpus room. Yeah, that's my child is laying there. All right, so if you guys had to get something for lunch, what would you guys get? Answer, answer in the comments below. What would you get for lunch at the Dolly Village? Uh, no credit uh, restaurant. What's the difference between a regular pickle and a Limblum pickle? So, the difference is that apparently Limblum pickles smell really bad. That's the difference. That's the only difference. They just smell really bad. Apparently they're really good, but they smell really... It's like uh, Limburger cheese. I don't know if you guys have ever had or smelled Limburger cheese. Uh... But, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like that. Where, like, a lot of people... Are, you know, Limburger is well-known for being one of the smelliest cheese, you know? Uh, and, uh... No, I don't really want to become famous. <laughs> uh, Limburger cheese... Uh, I've had it before. I don't know if you guys have had it before. It's actually pretty good. I actually thought it would taste a little bit better. But it's kind of one of those cheeses that... Uh, I think that you have to, like, put... Uh, uh, like just on stuff, and I kind of just had it on like on a cracker. Uh, I'm sure I sure that if you put it like with a like a olive or like a, like a maybe even a pickle, like a stinky pickle or something like that. Um, uh, but yeah, that's kind of that's the deal with limbo pickles. You'll find there is a whole sub quest involving well not sub quest. There is a whole subset of the story, um, a sub adventure I should say. Uh, involving the Limblum Pickles. So just you wait and see. <laughs> just you wait. Cinnamon, that is the nicest thing that you have ever said. <laughs> the real fame is the friends we've made along the way. That's the real celebrity. <laughs> I wish they I wanted some of that pumpkin salad. That sounds pretty good, though. Dutiful Daughter Sly. I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Or do you need medicine? I would like some medicine. I would like a couple of Phoenix Downs, please. And some potions, please. Maybe an antidote or two. Some eye drops. And... Sure. Buy two extra tents. Can I ask you something? What are those strange patterns just outside the village? I'm sorry. I'm really busy right now. Do you want me to help? Is that some sort of a trend? Trend? What are you talking about? There's already a man helping me. Whoa! Whoa, okay, lady. It wasn't like that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. I thought there was like a little board here that I could read. That lady is like no go on on the monkey orgy, please. I wonder if it could run its stuff. <laughs> we use it to summon Satan. Oh, it's a lady. Kiss these days. This used to be a farm. Why did they destroy the pack farm to draw those strange patterns? Yeah, you can sort of vaguely see it in the background there. Uh, there are some patterns back there. Uh, just, just some, 
Uh, Snot Nose Gudo implies there are other Gudos. <laughs> Pink Eyed Gudo. Black Eyed Gudo. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody eyed Gudo. Where did Steiner go? Uh, excuse me, I was just daydreaming. Your friend is waiting. Meow. Meow. Did you wait long? I asked Divi to head back. He should be back soon. How did you like this village? Pretty different from the castle, I bet. Yes, the kids are very energetic, and there are so many things to see. I've never walked around so freely before in my life. But... Where are all the adults? Yeah. I used to see them trend tending the farm next to the village. <laughs> what are you guys finger gunning at? <laughs> oh, what do you tell the Gudo with two black eyes? Nothing, he's already been told twice. Dang! Dang, boy! <laughs> You can tell Garden is out of her element because she's sitting at the end table like a chair. Yep! <laughs> I never noticed that before. <laughs> is this a chair? Alrighty. But that farm is tiny. Yeah. There's something strange going on. We'll leave once Vivi gets back. But... What about Steiner? I have a good plan for crossing Southgate. It's gonna be easy. Did you, did you see how he just glossed right over answering that question? It's gonna be easy. They're not looking for the rest of us, so we'll just hide you. Forget about Rusty. Leave everything to me. Queen Bronze, Steiner. Firewood stacking duties are complete! I await your command. It's my job to clean the barn. Why are you doing all this? S sorry Well, now that you have time, would you introduce me to some adults, like your father? My father won't be back until nightfall. All the other men are, are also working. They don't come here during the day. He, na he never takes off the armor, so he could just have gears on the inside. <laughs> Werewolves! <laughs> Vampires! <laughs> Pubs are supposed to be a prime source of information. <clears throat> I need not ask an adult. Let me ask you a question. I need to know about what transportation method people use in this village. I cannot tell you the reason, but there is someone I must escort to the castle. Are you from Alexandria Castle? Indeed. I command the Queen's Knights of Pluto. I am Aldebert Steiner, Captain of the Knights of Pluto. Knights of Pluto? Oh. Well, if you're from the castle, I guess it's okay to tell you. Please go to the observatory on top of the mountain, on the outskirts of the village. An old man named Morith lives there. He takes care of the cargo ship. Cargo ship? So that piece of junk flies in his village? Thank you. Wait. Yes? Thank you for cleaning. Nay! It is I who should thank you for your assistance. I must make haste. <laughs> so I'm the princess's protector, and I need to escort someone <laughs> back to the castle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I cannot tell you the reason. <laughs> but the reason is... 
<laughs> God damn it, Steiner. <laughs> As it turned out, it didn't matter that we snuck into their mansion. But the kings were hiding something in their mansion. What's wrong? Am I boring you? Oh, no. Your story is very interesting. Uh, I was just falling asleep, listening to it. <laughs> but I'm concerned about Vivi. Why isn't he back yet? You're right. He is late. I'm not worried about Steiner, but Vivi, I'm not so sure about. Let's go look for him. Alright, level two. Girly girl. <laughs> it's Garnet, but not that Garnet. <laughs> Even though she looks just like her. Even though she's named Garnet. It's a different Garnet, okay? She renamed herself Princess Garnet, renamed herself Princess Garnet, okay? It's different, alright? Different girl. Let's save, Koopo! Overwrite. <laughs> totally different person. Exactly! <laughs> Alright. So, we got a mystery on our hands. What does this guy say? Excuse me, I was just danger. It's 100 gold per night. Will you be staying? No. <laughs> I just came back from the inn. Uh, all right, so we have a mystery on our hands. Peoples, boys and girls, girls and boys, uh, men and women all around. Uh, we need to figure out what the heck is going on with Vivi because uh, we saw him get uh, we saw him get uh, jaundice napped, uh, jaundice boy napped, <laughs> jinkies. <laughs> Appar okay, hang on, that brought up. Is there episode supposed to be like some big deal about some new Scooby Doo happening? Because I heard something on Twitter or Reddit or whatever I saw about some new Scooby Doo is supposed to be like super good or something. I don't know. We'll talk about it later. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we got a mystery on our hands. We gotta, we gotta get our boy back. A new movie is called Scoob. Ooh, I'll check it out. I was never a super big fan of Scooby Doo. Uh, I liked having it on. I don't know, like you know. I, I've told you a story about how my family didn't have cable, and so, like, my only chance to watch, like, Cartoon Network shows and, like, Boomerang shows and stuff like that was on uh, cable at hotel rooms. Uh, and so that's when I would have a chance to watch Scooby-Doo and stuff like that. Uh, but, because, uh, uh, like, I was... Scooby-Doo wasn't on TV on regular TV during the 90s. It was all about the Pokemans, man, and, 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 and the Transformers, man, uh, and the the... Toxic Crusaders, man. Like that was, <laughs> that was my TV. <laughs> um, check out the list of voice actors in the movie. Quite a list. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. Thank you for the suggestion, Shuriken. Um, so yeah, uh, I think we'll go ahead and stop there for today. It's around. It's you know, it's definitely the end of my lunch time. I don't know what you guys are doing, just wasting your time watching me. <laughs> but I appreciate you wasting your time watching me. Uh, I love you guys, and uh, thank you guys for so coming out and hanging out with me on the Lunchtime Let's Play. Uh, so we're gonna go and continue. So I know, don't don't hate me, but I still want to finish the jump rope uh, girls. Uh, we we got off on the hugest tangents in the last Thursday's Let's Draw stream, uh, and we. <laughs> Barely finished coloring it. I don't even think we fit it. I don't even think we started coloring it. I went and colored it in. The girls, at the very least. Um, the jump rope gang. The evil demon jump rope gang. Uh, yeah, you missed a really good Muppet discussion. <laughs> and by discussion, it was more of me just jamming out the Emmett Otter Jug Band Christmas songs. That was that was the Thursday stream in a nutshell. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I, I want to continue. Um, feel free. If you guys have any suggestions uh, about what uh, maybe we could uh, draw if we finish that up real quick, we might be able to squeeze in like the start of a next of a new one or something, or just do something real quick and easy. Uh, real quick, and, real, real quick and dirty and slimy too. 
<laughs> Paul remembered Emmett Otter and we lost him for like an hour. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and it was pure bliss. <laughs> I was in heaven singing Emmett Otter. Get out of here. <laughs> Best Muppets, hand down. Hands down. Draw a flan, those look slimy. Yeah, I'll, I'll draw a flan, heck yeah. I'll draw a flan with a, with a knife. And be like, oh, you just got, you just got garneted. <laughs> I'll stab this with my garnet. Oh, that's a good one. Just draw Zidane just like holding Princess Garnet like a dagger. <laughs> he wasn't even talking to us, mainly myself. <laughs> Shut up, Zulop. Butthead. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on today's lunchtime let's play. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, just if you guys are at work, if you guys are taking a break, I really appreciate you guys spending time and hanging out with me. Um, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. And it gives it. I couldn't have asked for a better chat. I couldn't have asked for better friends hanging out with me uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But that's, apparently, that's the only days that you guys are allowed to hang out with me. No, only Tuesdays and Thursdays. Nope, that's it. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll solve this mystery on the next, uh, Let's Play stream next Tuesday. Uh, and we'll continue, uh, drawing demonic jump rope girls on Thursday. So catch you on Thursday. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Trogdor again. Trogdor, are you streaming tonight at Fry? <laughs> are you streaming tonight at five? Trogdor? You better, you, you better. <laughs> or I'm gonna, <laughs> or I'm gonna come to your house in beat you up so yeah so trogdor is streaming some more metroid prime uh hard mode uh he holy crap you were making you are flying through that man trogdor is dude if you want an epic like i call myself epic you know but trogdor is real epic <laughs> yeah boss rage territory now He's getting there. He's going to fight a big booty boy pretty soon. Uh, if he already didn't. I had to step out uh, at the end of the last one. But if he didn't already fight it, he's fighting a big old booty boy. Uh, uh, coming up, maybe. Unless he already did it. Well, no. Well, if, well, you, tell you what. Find out if you tune in to the Trogdor's uh, stream tonight at 5. Uh, you tried it once and he whooped you? <laughs> Good. Now you can get a, Now you can whoop his booty butt. Oh, also, follow uh, Shuriken. Uh, I haven't had a chance. I feel so bad. I haven't had a chance to actually like uh, sit down and watch some streams. But uh, uh, the one, the few that I've caught, um, uh, Shuriken is kicking some butt at uh, at uh, Warzone, which is a new Call of Duty PUBG ripoff. <laughs> I call it a ripoff just because I'm still playing PUBG. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Yeah, so follow him. Uh, check out some. Check out his streams. I, he's got quite a. Also, Shuriken, CS symbol right there next to Shuriken's name for all you in the chat. That boy is a Twitch affiliate. So watch his stuff, and he can get ad revenue. Mm, do it. Give him some money. Give him some point zero uh, five cents per ad. Do it. <laughs> Fill that money and fill that guy, fill that boy's pockets right up <laughs> with half a cent. <laughs> all right, I'll stop mumbling and bambling and gambling and jambling all around. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, I'll let you guys go. 40 bucks! Holy crap! Dude! Dude! That's a. That's a Final Fantasy IX Steam. Uh, remaster <laughs> or a Master Chief collection <laughs> those are like two games that I know that are selling for $40 on Steam right now <laughs> anyway I love you guys take care uh, hope to see you guys on Thursday uh, if not no big deal I love you guys anyway uh, and uh, well, what can I say as a sign off uh, all right if uh, I roll, tell you what, if I roll 15 and above, uh, if I roll 15 and above, it'll be a good day for me. If I roll 
Uh, well, actually, no. If I roll five and above, it's a good day for me. I'll give you some good chances. It's a nine. It's a good day for me. It'll be a good day for you. Uh, I love you guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye! Don't forget to see Trogdor in the Shuriken stream! <laughs> also, you guys should go check out uh, Divinity... Original Sin of Divinity Original Sin 2. Do it! It's cool! You listen to the soundtrack! You already know the soundtrack, good! <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>